I uh, all, all the internet stuff today has been about Lane Kiffin and the idea that has been reported that if offered, he would take the Miami coaching job at the end of the season. Now, the Miami Hurricanes do not have a head coaching opening so far. However, <laughs> we, we did talk on the last show about Blake James, the AD, being out at Miami. And we have seen when Miami loses to Florida State in the past, they don't really care too much about the rest of the season. You know, we're going to talk about that game here in a little bit. But if Miami were to not perform well to finish out the season, would it surprise you if Manny Diaz is gone? I don't think so. I, I'm i curious your thoughts on, on Kiffin possibly leaving Oxford this early. And is Miami a better job than Ole Miss right now? Well, is Miami a better job is a complicated question. I'm, I, I and I don't know the answer to that. And I'm not gonna. I'm not really gonna try to, you know, parse ways of, of what is a better job and what's not because because I don't know the answer. But yes, a hundred percent yes. We talked about this several weeks ago, a couple of months ago, when the LSU job opened up. Lane Kiffin went on. This is not a reporter like leaking out information or somebody with inside knowledge straight from the horse's mouth. Lane Kiffin went on Dan Levitard's show and openly talked about how he was not a fan of Mississippi. He was not a fan of living here. He was not a fan of being here. He loved Ole Miss. He loved Oxford. He loved the, you know his opportunity to do what he did there. But he hasn't hidden his feelings about I'm not a Missis- I'm not a Southern guy. I'm just not, and he has not enjoyed being here. So that that's straight from him. And the day I heard that, I immediately texted you guys in the group. We talked about it on the show. That I, I thought when Lane got hired, because he had been not just a failure at other places, but also kind of a laughing stock and and kind of the butt of the joke for a while. That he was not going to be leaving Oxford anytime soon at all. I was wrong. That was a couple of months ago, and and, and I stand by it. I, I'm going to tell you from people that I know, close to the situation at LSU, that if LSU offers Lane the job, Lane would crawl on his hands and knees to Baton Rouge to take it. I believe if Miami offers him the job, he would crawl to Miami to take it. That's, I, I do think that those two jobs are completely different, but it kind of lets you know – uh, exactly where Lane Kiffin is, if those reports are true, that that he would take either one of those gigs. I don't think Miami's close to LSU. Like they're not even. Close. Oh no, 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 no! Every like, everybody, everybody close to LSU fully believes that even if Miami opens, if both LSU and Miami offer, and even if we are offering comparable money, we think the LSU job. We understand the LSU job is significantly better than Miami. Yes, is Miami better than than Ole Miss? Don't know that that that. That's a debate that intelligent people could have. There's no debate that the LSU job is significantly better than both of them. Yes, yes. Uh, Kiffin, as of right now, he's making $4.5 million a year this year. It tends to go up just a little bit, but his contract ends after the 2024 season. Uh, buyout is nothing crazy. Like, it, this is money will be no object to get Lane Kiffin out of there for Miami. So. That's, that's going to be interesting. I mean, all these different discussions about Kiffin. How about this question? Uh, do, you think he, do you think he should take the Miami job over Ole Miss? Yes. Okay. Give me, give, me some, <laughs> give me some reasons here. Is it just because you can't do this over and over with Ole Miss, you know, year after year? Because, I mean, they could go 10-2 and two this year. Now, obviously, we're not talking up wins, but well, how often are you okay. going to go 10-2 at Ole Miss, right? It's, it's just simple. I think he took the Ole Miss job because of Matt Corral. Matt Corral is going to be gone after this year. I think he wants out before he loses Corral. Because I think he understands he's going to be judged. All these big-time coaching jobs won't come open once Corral's gone for him. They won't be calling for him because Ole Miss is not – They're not. I don't think they're set up next quarterback-wise to, to win nine, ten games next year, okay? But the other thing is simply it's the ACC, okay? For some reason, people still respect it as a quote-unquote 
Power Five conference when it is hot garbage. And he, I think everybody in the world thinks if you go to Miami and you go undefeated at Miami, this is not going undefeated at Wake. All right? Yeah. It's just not. And if you can win there, then you can win for, you can compete for a national championship. Yeah. No, you're, uh, you're 100% right about that. So I, he, I think he would absolutely be a fantastic fit at Miami. He could bring some of that swag back, that swagger that, that Miami used to carry around. Well, if it happens, hey, the, the boys in Baton Rouge ain't had their say yet. So. No, no, you're 100% right about that. I, I think they got their eyes set on uh, on other prizes, but I, I really think it might come down to, hey, LSU would have to make their hire first because I think Lane would prefer LSU over Miami. Right. So we'll – We'll see what or, happens. Or Lane has been Lane has been just clearly told you're not getting this job. Yo, you ain't getting this job. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's entirely possible. That's Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.